We presented the Adura trial here at ASCO uh, to really uh, a large crowd. You know, people are very excited about these data because what we have done is we've taken patients with stage 1 to 3A non-small cell lung cancer, completely resected, and then what we've done is added acimertinib as accurate therapy. It was a randomized trial. Uh, after complete resection, patients could have had chemotherapy if it was felt uh, needed by the physician. There was also some patient choice involved. They're stratified by their stage, uh, by their mutation type, and their area of origin, you know, Asia versus non-Asia. And then the patients were treated with three years of osimertinib as accurate therapy. I already pr presented at a plenary session three years ago the disease-free survival data, which were quite positive. Uh, hazard ratio of 0.17, 83% decrease in disease-free disease recurrence. And that actually resulted in the drug being approved in the U.S. and many other countries. However, the open question was, what about overall survival? Would there be an effect in overall survival? Well, wait no longer. That's what we had here at the meeting uh, uh, yesterday. And what we showed is that now with a few more years follow-up at 20% maturity, we actually show that for overall survival, the hazard ratio was 0 0.49 uh, with curves that separated early and remained apart you know, throughout five years now of follow-up. What does that mean? That means there's a 51% decreased risk of death when you use asimertinib in the accurate setting. And we saw that across subgroups, stage, age, type of mutation, uh, and presence or absence of chemotherapy treatment. So this is very exciting because it means that it confirms that uh, asimertinib is a standard of care uh, for patients with EGFR mutant lung cancer after surgery. Hopefully this will be seen worldwide and uh, more regulatory bodies and payers will support the drug. And I also want patients and physicians to know these data because it's compelling and hopefully will uh, be part of their discussion when they talk about doing this uh, to treat their patients. The, it is, these data were also published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Um, our, our steering committee includes myself, Dr. Yilong Wu from China, and Dr. Masa Suboy from Japan. Uh, working very closely with colleagues around the world and colleagues from AstraZeneca, so a true team effort.